This will be a short vintage and clothing haul from um, a few trips I did recently from the vintage store Kohl's and Macy's. Um, so the first piece I have is this Nina Riccolino uh, dress. It's a red dress and three quarter length sleeves and it's got this big crazy collar, shoulder pads, um, it's got a, an elastic waist in the back. Um, so that's great for me because I am disproportionately large in the shoulders and a lot of the clothes that I buy are too big in the waist and so I like this because it really accentuates my waist. It looks super cute on me. However, when I got it home in better light, and it's not going to show up on the video, um, but there's like some slight water stain or sweat staining here. Um, and since it still has a dry cleaning tag on it, I think that someone's already tried to get that taken out or they just took it to the dry cleaner before they were going to get rid of it and had some kind of like stain on it and didn't know about it and then when it went through the dry cleaning process it's kind of like set in there and it's a rayon polyester fabric so I don't really it says dry clean only and so like my only option is to maybe find a really good cleaner um, to get it out or wear a fox stole or a shawl or something with the dress but it's super cute and the only other issue with it is this is right here on the inside under the collar um, needs to be mended or is just starting to come undone. I haven't looked up this designer. I would imagine that it's just some blah random like JCPenney's or Sears uh, clothing line from the early 80s so I'm not really sure and I will try and post the names of the companies um, but some of the other stuff I have is not it's handmade so it doesn't matter okay the next piece I have is a handmade beaded green dress it's about like tea length just above the knee um, and it's kind of a sheath shape so it's um, I would say mid 1960s kind of style um, there's a little bit of fading of the color but it's like really such a great color and so cute on me um, and it's really cool because the seamstress put in like these little bra snap straps so there's only really there's a few problems with this dress, and this one was uh, about $35. It was $45 and 15% off. The other dress was about $19. It was $25 and 15% off. Um, it has a hook and hook and eye, um, but it's an it's one of the styles where the eye was just colored thread that matched the dress and so the eye part of the hook and eye is kind of sketchy there um, and the zipper is very very sticky there is no way that I could take this dress off or put it on take it on and off without assistance with the zipper and the hook and eye um, and then the other thing is since it's really old there's a very small hole here. You can see that there um, on the back side of the hem. But since the lining is almost the same color as the dress, I don't think it's very noticeable. Um, and then to me, um, it seems like the hem is the original hem here. But it just, it's not laying the way I think that it should lay. 
and I don't know if someone removed beads from the bottom to press it at home um, or what's going on with that. So I might have Christina take a look at this dress with me um, to see if we can do anything with it. And, you know, there's just a few places where it looks like maybe a bead or two has fallen off or that whoever was making it just put a random bead by itself. But I don't think that's really noticeable all, overall. The dress is just so shockingly cute that <laughs> I don't think people are going to notice um, the slight discolorations or a bead here or there randomly. All right. Okay, another thing I got at the vintage store is this um, gingham square dancing top, and there was no skirt with it, um, like the full circle skirt that you would wear for square dancing, and it's just really cute on, and this is uh, probably a, a cotton polyester blend, and so this could be um, probably machine washed, so and I have no idea on the age. I mean, it's a square dancing outfit probably, and people are still making those. This is handmade, so. And they seem to be having a lot more luck lately <laughs> finding dresses that are handmade, um, just because my sizing's kind of weird, and I guess there must be someone in town at some point who is the same size as me, and they were making clothes for themselves or someone else. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh, when the clothes are handmade, the likelihood of someone else having the exact same thing is pretty slim. Um, because even when it's made from a pattern like this, like a really obvious, like, you know, you could go to look in the Butterick catalog or something, or Simplicity catalog, and find a shirt pattern just like this, I'm sure. Um, but how many people are going to choose this lace, and how many people are going to choose this trim, and how many people are going to choose black and white gingham? So it's really great when you find handmade clothes that belong to someone else that fit you, and then it's a really unique piece to add to your wardrobe. And then I also got these um, double hoops, fake gold costume jewelry hoops at the vintage store. Um, they were only like three dollars and I don't think I like them as well as the gold hoops that I already have but we'll see. I'm not wearing them today. I'm wearing my little sparkly hearts. Yay! Um, then at Macy's on President's Day I did like a huge shopping trip on President's Day and so clothes were only part of what I got. But I got this uh, jacket. This is just a short sleeve little uh, bordero jacket that is faux suede. Um, and I think it will go over my golden brown dress. It's not the same color gold, but it's a warm, it's like that color gold if it were three, three shades darker or something. Um, or if it were more brown gold. So I think it'll work. I need to try it out in different lights. Something weird is going on with the lining on the sleeves here. So it's like when you put it on, it wants to pull the lining out. So it shows. So you kind of have to fight with it. But this was practically free because it was present day and it was on like super clearance and I had a gift card for $25 from my credit card so this was originally $45 and I got it for like free. I must have got something else at Macy's too because the tag here says $22 and my gift card was for 25 so I think even with sales tax, it was more than half off. And I must have got something else, but I've already totally forgotten what it could have been. So, and then also on President's Day, I went to Kohl's. And I just got two things there. Again, they were practically free. $6 for both of them. Um, 
my boyfriend had gone and bought his annual supply of underwear, undergarments, and I got a $20 Kohl's cash, so it was also President's Day. So this skirt, the original price was $36, and I paid $10.80 for it if I hadn't had the Kohl's cash. Um, and it's just a short, kind of like cargo skirt, which is something I really like to wear to work in the summer. Um, so it's short, like, as short as shorts, but not as short as Daisy Dukes. Um, and it comes about midway between my knee and butt cheek. Um, but I like to wear those in summer because I normally walk to work. And it's normally, like, 95 degrees and, um, shorts are just not fun and pants are really not fun because A, they don't fit me because they're not long enough and I have to pay $100 to get nice long pants. And who wants to wear pants when it's 100 degrees out? And then the other thing I got is a, oh, and the skirt is Sonoma, so it's just generic Kohl's crap. Um, I got a sweater dress. It's black and it has kind of like some silver sparkles in it and it's L. And this is kind of low cut and I've been trying to experiment with what I can wear under it that like is also a scoop neck or works with this neckline. Um, this is really, really low. So I have that slip, um, the flirt slip or whatever. That kind of works with it. I've tried some camisole tops underneath it. Um, it looks really great with my red tights underneath it, but um, I need some kind of other top to wear under it. And this one is like, L sizing is really, their sizes run really big, and if I lose like five pounds, this is going to be too big for me, and it's just going to sit in my closet. But it looked pretty good when I tried it out in the store. So, um... I haven't had a chance to wear any of this stuff out anywhere. Um, and this, I like, again, because it has the tie. Ooh, tie at the waist, so you can cinch the waist in. Which, again, is great for the disproportional sizing if you're big in the shoulders. And you need the bigger size for your shoulders and your back. Um, and it's really great to be able to have stuff that's styled so that you can adjust the waist or cinch in the waist, you know, like you could with a trench coat or something like that. And this dress, I already took the tag off, so I don't know, I think it was like $50 and it was like 70% off. And with the Kohl's cash, I paid $26, or I paid $6 for both of these, so it would have been $26 without the Kohl's cash. And I saved a hundred and one dollars on those two items at Kohl's. So go figure. Um, when I went shopping on President's Day, I also got a bunch of other stuff that was not clothing related. Like I got some um, beauty products and just general household stuff. But I'm not going to show you those to you in this video because I'm sure it will be long enough anyway. Um, Comment on this video if you would like to see some of these items styled. I won't be able to do the green beaded dress without assistance, um, but I can definitely get that in at some point if you're interested in seeing that. Thank you!